I'm not a full-time YouTuber, and so because of that, you're not going to see me doing price speculation, moon pumping. I just stick to the technologies that interest me, and if you've been following me for a while, you know Pi is one of those social experiments that's a really interesting follow. Is it going to be successful? Who knows? Is it going to truly take off and become worth you know, all of the, the money that people speculate on Reddit and other places? Who knows? I'm in it for the journey. I think it's doing some very innovative things and building a market first and then having the technology come up to it second. We don't see a lot of technology, especially crypto projects do that. Usually crypto projects are developed by engineers who have a great use case and great technology. And then they're like, but where's the market? How do I get people to be interested in this and, and start using it, right? Pi is the flip of it. Over 20 million active users. So it's got a huge market, but they're building the technology to catch up, and that's why it's interesting. So let's just jump over to it. We're going to just do this on my phone today, which should be a lot of fun. So here are the hackathon winners. This is the Pi blog where they were talking about it, and there's a few things that stand out that I wanted to say around this. Now, we do know there were a whole bunch of submissions that were, were placed, and honestly, there were so many of them. I think it's kind of hard to go through and vote. I initially started to vote for some and I was just drowned in a sea of applications and I decided, you know, I'm just going to back off this and we'll let you guys in the community do the work. And so you have, and now we see this. And I think it's exciting to see the winners were really subject to the community vote. And I think that's a good, strong sign. If there's one thing Pi and the core team have been good at, it's including the community from the very beginning. And I think that's a positive thing. We need more crypto projects that do that. So here are the winners, Pi Workforce Pool, and that's the one we're gonna look at today. Also Pi Care, Pi Chain Mall, World of Pi Championships, uh, and then, okay, and then what you got, which I guess is a marketplace, like, hey, what you got? And so we're gonna cover each of those, not all of them today. We're just gonna stick to the first one today, which is the Pi Workforce Pool. So we see down here the prize winners, so 20,000 and then 20,000 pi. So 20,000 US and 20,000 pi for first prize, and you see second and third and honorary from there. I've seen some people on Reddit say, well, does that mean pi is now worth $1? Well, no, nowhere on here did it say that they're equal to each other, right? Like 20,000 pi equals $20,000. They're not saying that. Maybe they're trying to like sneakily intimate that they think pi should be worth $1. Now, but we don't do price speculation on this channel, but I will tell you this. The market will determine what pi is worth. So don't look at this as a one-to-one. -one. And I'm not even sure if the pi core team meant to like intend that but you should just know that so, okay so here we go i've got these open the way you can find this at least right now in the app is you just click on winners on the home screen and it's going to take you right here with the filter built in for hackathon winner and so you can see each of these and so here is pi workforce pool and i'm just going to bring it up really quick before i jump into it so you can see you know what this thing is all about really i sort of see it as like a fiverr or one of those like gig economy kind of work for hire kind of stuff you're looking for somebody to you know build some code for you or design something and, and and it's where a marketplace for buyers and sellers can meet up to to trade for for services the difference of course is that they're going to be paid in pi so that's that's kind of cool so you can see the app is live pyet.com kind of confused on the domain name not a huge fan of that like when i hear pi workforce pool and then pi yet uh don't really follow that so much so you know probably a, a better domain might be nice now we're going to look at this you can just go on any browser to payette.com and you can see the actual app but to actually interface with it you're gonna to have to go in through the Pi browser. And I covered this a long time ago in an old video, but the Pi browser is really, it's what has the API mechanisms to connect into the Pi blockchain. And so most, if not all of the Pi apps you're going to use in the future will go through the Pi browser. And again, the reason for that is that's the browser itself that has all of the API connections to be able to interact with your wallet, to be able to handle transactions on the Pi blockchain, all of that good stuff. And I'm also not gonna cover this, you should know this, the Pi blockchain is alive. It's still in testnet. It's not, it's, we're not using it for real transactions. And all the Pi you have at this point in the testnet world is just test Pi. So keep that in mind. We're still in testnet for all of this. And I just wanted to mention that I shared all that in a future, or I'm sorry, a past video, but I, I wanted to say that again. So you can kind of see what this all looks like. I'm, I'm going to kind of skip by some of this, but you can see the the pool brings everyone together. You can see who it's for. It's for any pioneer 
So for someone that needs to get some work done, someone that wants to offer up their services, uh, when it's going to be available, it says that it's, you know, it, it went through the hackathon, of course, it's in the alpha phase, which just if you don't know, like how phases work, it's at the very, very, very beginning. So you're going to see a lot of changes to the app as it continues to build and grow and mature. Uh, and then they say that they plan on doing a full launch when mainnet is complete. I think that's brilliant. I think it's important for mainnet not just to be the stability of the blockchain, but also the stability of a surrounding set of apps that drive its economy and utility. That is really critical. And if I'm on the core team, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, even if my developers are saying, guys, we're ready to go, it's stable, let's push this to market. What a good uh, entrepreneur should be thinking about is simply this. Well, it may be ready for market, but is the MVP there? Is the minimum viable product there? In other words, does it have everything it needs to be to be a robust, usable platform? And one of those things is great utility apps. And so I'm sure the core team will be correlating and communicating with many of the hackathon winners to make sure that when they go live, those apps are also ready to go live as well. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the rest of this and let's just dive into this, shall we? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the Pi browser itself. And if you've not seen the Pi browser, you can go and download this from the app store and I've got this open. You can see everything that's here. There's really not a lot at this point. There is the wallet. The wallet is where uh, you're going to connect, you can do transactions on for your test Pi on the test blockchain. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to open up the browser itself. And actually, it's open at the top. So to get there, we're just going to go to payette.com. We're going to pop that guy in here. And here we go. We're in the workforce pool. So this is the application itself. We're waiting for this thing to load. Okay, here we go. So get freelance work done, all that good stuff. I'm going to skip by. You can sign up as a business and or talent. So I'll be signing up as a business because I don't really have any talent that I'm going to be using and offering up here. Uh, but as a business, maybe I do, right? Like, like it'd be fun for me to use Pi to outsource maybe, you know, thumbnail creations or some other things that I could use here on my channel. So it shows you can get matched with people, you make your payments in Pi, all that good stuff. So again, we have a model for this. The model is Fiverr. If you look at Fiverr, it's a very robust ecosystem that just uses US dollar and it builds a marketplace of buyers and sellers. So we're going to hit enter on this and we're going to have to get set up. So the first thing it says is, do you want to share your information to the Pi workforce pool? And I'm going to have to do that, right? I'm going to have to share my username. I'm going to authenticate my account. So I'm going to hit allow. What that authentication does is it just jumps me into the Pi system itself. It uses my wallet that I've already created to authenticate myself. And then I should be able to just jump right in. So I'm not going to do like a full, uh, I'm not going to customize any of this right now. It looks like I can upload an image, descriptions, all that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to do any of that just for sake of brevity on today's video. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm looking for work. Let's see here. What category? Let's do, yeah, graphics and design, right? Um, now, one thing that they need to do, they need to, and again, we're in alpha, so I'm going to excuse all of these kind of UI issues. One is it's kind of hard to go back up here. This is a little screwy. I can see here's my dashboard. I have 6,232 Pi. Again, that's not my Pi. It's not real Pi. It's test Pi. We're still in test net, right? So just keep that in mind. That is all uh, fake. You know, if you have one Pi, if you have 100,000 Pi, once you're carving out and it Pi goes to mainnet, that's, I'm, I'm guessing, what would show there, right? So anyway, you, you can see that. Uh, you can see the number of Pi. You can see the talent and work. And I, I guess it's not going to surprise me if there is no active listings because there's no active work to be done right now since everything is test Pi. Uh, looks we're still too new for all of that. Looks like it does have a message system. This message system is what you'd be using to collaborate on the projects themselves. Let's say, um, yeah, so so I can see apparently it has a rating system. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you'd expect something like that because, you know, you really want to have a good economy where like, I don't want to hire a designer who's got really poor ratings that doesn't deliver in time and nor does What do I think about all of this? Well, for sure, it's alpha, right? Uh, but that's okay. I am excited to see where this grows. I can see why the Pi Core team selected this as a winner. It got a lot of votes. So as we can go back and see if you want to go back and look at the votes. In fact, I don't think I showed that. So I should probably go back and let's take a peek at that. So here we go. But I think if we go back again, yeah, so we can see. So this thing has 23,663 upvotes. That's a lot. 
So now we can certainly see why the core team selected the Pi Workforce Pool as one of their winners, because this is one that's going to give it a lot of utility at the at the beginning. I happen to know a lot of the people that are involved in Pi. Many pioneers are very, very sophisticated, especially those that know how to write code, those who know uh, back end and front end development, probably design and many other things. And so what I think will happen with this is as this continues to mature, and it clearly has a long way to go. Go, but as it continues to mature as an app, really being an intermediary, the Fiverr of the Pi workforce world is a great first application to have to make sure when Pi is released, it's not just a bunch of hopes, right? It's not just, it's, it's going to help it prevent, you know, people from just doing a major mass sell-off the second the blockchain is released. What this is going